Well, I think any adult should be here, whether they have kids or not, because the innocence of children should be protected from everyone that is a mature adult that understands what's going on. Freedom is to do what you want. Obsession or oppression, what you make me do what you want or believe what, what you want, and this is not right. And that's what we feel here. The school has been hijacked. The school has been uh, taken into a way we don't want it to be. And teachers nowadays are acting like a doctors and they decide who's girl, who's boy, and so on. Adam Sos here for Rebel News on location at the Harry Hayes building here in Calgary, Alberta. This is the third of a series of protests being led by a Muslim group here within the city against LGBTQ indoctrination. Uh, there is expected to be something of a counter protest this evening. We are seeing some folks gathering across the street and uh, protest organizers are starting to amass here smaller numbers than we have seen in past weeks, but numbers nonetheless. I'm also going to be speaking with protest organizer Mahmoud Moura, who actually faced a criminal harassment charges uh, inspired according to police by hatred a uh, very troubling now to be clear those charges have nothing to do with these protests whatsoever they relate to conversations allegedly taking place on Facebook a little while back we're going to be speaking uh, with the event organizer about that and speaking with some other people about why they continue to attend these events so uh, Justin Trudeau actually just drove by he's in town for Calgary Stampede uh, Justin Trudeau talks a lot sort of about Islamophobia and then he also talks about the LGBTQ um, there seems to be a bit of an intersection here uh, do you have any messages for Justin Trudeau as we sort of navigate this frontier? Well, I would just say that uh, leave our children alone, right? Like, uh, we, we're, we, we're not against LGBTQ, we're not against gay, we just don't want the sexualization of children. That's all we want. All my, we're all for the kids, it's not about religion, it's not about anything else. That's, that's, we're just standing for the children, right? I suppose my question for you, you've been at, I think, all these protests. Um, the, I think the last time we saw something to this scale, now the size of the crowds have varied a little bit though, but it was probably in Ontario and they ultimately achieved some meaningful change. Uh, do you suspect that this is going to be successful given the vast diversity of people coming together with one unified cause? Absolutely. I, I think that it's just people naturally know that parents are the real experts in their own kids, that uh, that parents are the first and best people you want to include in the most difficult conversations. And so I, I think I think it's popular. It's a winning issue. Um, and the more we come and make noise and make it unignorable, the, the more the decision makers will come around. Well, I think any adult should be here, whether they have kids or not, because the innocence of children should be protected from everyone that is a mature adult that understands what's going on. And they're sexualizing in our libraries, in our school systems, and I'm tired of it. And enough is enough, and we need to do some action. Come to protest. Talk to your uh, talk to your government. Call in, complain, make it stink. We're causing a ruckus. Obviously, look at the police presence here, right? So that's what we need to do. Make a storm. Say enough is enough. We can't be quiet or complacent anymore. Our children are worth it. Well, I did endeavor to speak to the folks across the street to gather a little bit of their perspective on this. A few of them actually spoke to me uh, last week and were somewhat reasonable in sharing their perspective rather than the usual shouting we hear. I made my way across the street to try and get their perspective again this time, and they said that they've decided sort of in solidarity that they won't be speaking with us. It's unfortunate. I think that dialogue was constructive. Uh, great to hear multiple perspectives tell the other side of the story. Unfortunately, that won't be the case today. What do you say to folks out there who think that this is about hatred and don't really understand what you guys are trying Trying to, trying to do here? Well, you know what? It's not about hate. It's about protecting our kids. We do not hate. We do not try to impose our ideology on others. But schools and libraries, this is a place of education. Education such as science, math, LA, like th those things, fundamental things, not about sexual education. If you will, you know, like go back in like a hundred years, like when you even, that would be considered to be such a shame even to talk to the child of that age about anything related to sex, related to like those issues which are discussed so openly, so shamelessly right now, which honestly, like, yeah, we bring in our kids here and 
Why? Because, well, we want them to know what is happening. We want them to be prepared to what is surrounding there in the society right now. But this is not a norm. This is absolutely outrageous. The kids, they need to stay kids for the time to develop mentally, to develop in a proper way. And this is what we are for. So Mahmoud Mora, the uh, organizer of this event, uh, sort of as we mentioned, you're facing charges, uh, criminal harassment motivated by hate. Yeah. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? Obviously, that isn't in relation to these events. It's something else, it's right? Not, nothing to do with this event. Like I said, uh, one of the, our community member, uh, a friend, and she decided to take a personal step and decide to charge me on behalf of maybe the LGBT community. I believe she's uh, been taking the role of a Trojan horse and then uh, something behind that. I uh, never spread the hate message. All I was asking, simple and very easy, leave our kids alone. My son going back to high school. I used to do homeschooling and I'm trying to look for a different option to safe and secure my kids till he's 18. There's nothing wrong about it. Cops decide to start charge me and based on hate crime and that's uh, criminal harassment and so on. On Facebook, something I've done. I don't know what it is. Uh, I never spread no hate. I would never do hate. And uh, people talk about hate. Nobody could talk about hate more than us Muslim. And then uh, even though I don't believe in it much, uh, people could use that flag to fear tactic and divide the community, the society for the upper guard to control the community and society. And I believe that's what's happening now. Like, right, the, the stuff that they're teaching now in schools is horrendous, right? And then the people that are with this woke agenda, they don't realize what happened in the 60s with the hippies. They were part of a, a counterculture agenda. And they're just like these teachers think that they're doing something, they're social justice warriors. But at the end, it backfired on the hippies, right? Yeah. And they got left out to dry. That's the same thing that's going to happen with the woke agenda. The next generation, they can't have kids. What's going to happen if you let your child have a, have a, a hormone therapy and stuff, then they... They, they, they can't have children after that. Then there's problems to their health. And then how's that child gonna feel like that you let them do that as, as, a, as a parent, as somebody that's supposed to look out for them? I would just say, just please leave the children alone. After they're 18, let them do what they want. But before that, like, we're not sounding for that. That's not good. Well, we certainly see a lot of people with transition regret, wishing someone, even a doctor would have said, these are potentially some of the negative outcomes. Yeah. Um, what do you make of, though, the, the federal government? Uh, they, they seem in some instances to be overreaching. Yeah. Um, education is supposed to be controlled uh, by, by provinces largely. Uh, Justin Trudeau seems to be advocating, uh, legislating and pushing these agendas in places he has no, he, or he should have no say. Yeah, well, I totally agree with you. It's like... Uh... What are we going to do? Like, if, if the, the whole next generation, they go along with this agenda, this is like, it, it messes up the parents, it messes up the children, it messes up everybody. To protect the future, we all knew that years ago. Just don't sexualize the children, then there's no problem. Right? One last question, because I think you touched on something perfectly there. We saw sort of the hippies, the sexual revolution, that moved the bar. Now this is almost moving it to yet another extent yeah. one more time. Yeah. Do you think the pendulum is just swinging so far? And do you think it's going to come back? Well, I think that they want it to come back, right? I think that they want to cause a conflict. They want to cause a conflict between cultures, between people. What the government doing, the liberals have done nothing but divide us every which way. And now the people are going to come together and I don't think it's going to be too good, right? <laughs> like for, for, the, for the politicians, because we know that they're, they've sold us all out. These last couple years, especially COVID, this is criminal what has happened, right? Now, your organization, Alberta Parents Union, are yeah, you actively engaged in sort of removing some of this ideology for school, or do you yeah, mostly just advocate for people to have options? We, we want people to have options. So if, if uh, you know, there's a, there's a critical race theory charter school in Philadelphia, if, if that's what parents want, and if it's the, the most successful, if it can be successful by explicitly saying that that's what you're going to get, then, then that's great. What we object to is parents being lied to, things being hidden from parents, parents getting things other than what they thought they bargained for in schools. Uh, we, we, want, we want public schools to truly be public for everyone, not excluding people based on what they believe. Uh, and that's exactly what we're here about. So why do they have to involve the children? Live your life how you want, and that's your sin, that's your choice. But when it comes to the children, we have a right to protect them. But yeah, they can be here just as right as much as us. So it's a free world, free country. We have all of our own voices. We're supposed to use them. This whole silencing and um, censorship, nah. Everyone has a voice. Let us all say what our piece. But what's happening right now, that is too loud. That is too loud in our systems, and we need to take a stance.
So now, obviously, we've heard the content at all these events. The message is, if when someone's an adult, they want to be LGBTQ, even if that's your own good, you'll support them. I, I haven't heard anything that I think could be characterized as hate by any of your speakers. Um, you don't know what they're suggesting you said? Uh, like I said, they said something happened and they have enough evidence to charge me, never disclose anything. I retained a lawyer. I know it's going to be a big battle. I'm not willing to quit. I'm not willing to stop. Uh, people die for their cause. I have no ill intention toward anyone. I'm not against anyone, but I believe this country, I called it heaven. I ran from a different country as an immigrant, not a refugee. I didn't run from bullet because I will fight for my country. Mm -hmm. That's a different. So I came here as an immigrant. I paid money to call, come to this heaven. I called it heaven. I feel my kids better and secure and safe in this country. There's no other place for me to run. I'm willing to stand for what I believe. I'm willing to defend what I believe. And like I said, if my son decides to be a gay, I'm not going to be happy about it. But I'll support his decision. He's my, he's my choice. I protect my son. I'll stand beside him even if I'm not happy about some of the decision of my son drug addict I will be beside my son to protect him and guide him same thing if it happened to be he's an LGBT community member no problem I'll help him but he till, till the time he has the ability to decide what he wants to do with his life I'm not gonna let someone else take my role as a parent and influence something in my son I don't want it to be freedom is to do what you want obsession or oppression what you make me do what you want or believe what, what you want and this is not right and that's what we feel here the school has been hijacked. The school has been uh, taken into a way we don't want it to be. And teachers nowadays are acting like uh, doctors and they decide who's girl, who's boy, and so on. And the sad reality uh, for my LGBT uh, brothers and sister or whatever they call the third party who undecided, I have no ill intention toward you. I know many of you. And I'm so proud last week one of the ladies came and spoke with us, supporting us. We're getting a lot of message. We have nothing against you, but you should support our kids to be free like the way you want yourself to be, to be free as well. Well, as you saw, Justin Trudeau actually drove by just as this protest was getting underway. He is actually at an event not too far away. I um, mean, there is sort of rumors that some of these protesters are going to head there to protest after. That event is wrapping up soon, though, so we're not sure exactly how the time will line up. Uh, if anything does happen, though, we're going to have someone there to cover that action as well. But things here have remained peaceful throughout the day. The crowds have grown quite a bit, but they have remained divided entirely on two separate sides of the streets. We've seen no conflicts, as we saw two weeks ago. So things look to be uh, maintaining peacefully. If anything does happen, we'll be sure to bring you that. But otherwise, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. For Rebel News, I'm Adam Sos. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this report. We're going to be covering these critical gender theory, LGBTQ activism type stories extensively right across, whether it be Muslim schools, Catholic schools, Christian schools, or otherwise. And you can catch all of that coverage at StopClassroomGrooming.com. Again, StopClassroomGrooming.com.